We begin with breaking news. We've confirmed the suspect in the Romeoville murders, along with the person of interest, have died in a car crash in Oklahoma. Our Marissa Perlman has been staying on top of this story and joins us from where that suspect lived in Streamwood. Good morning, Marissa. Good morning, Dana and Ryan. That female person of interest we now know lived here, too. Police identifying her as a missing or endangered person. But that main suspect, that male driver, police describe as armed and dangerous. Now the question turns to the motive. Police say there was a relationship between the main suspect and the victims, but won't release that information yet. The woman was reported by family as missing from this Streamwood home on by the next morning, Catoosa, Oklahoma law enforcement were alerted to a car that matched the description of the suspect, Nathaniel Huey Jr.'s car. After a chase, the car crashed. Officers then heard two gunshots. Huey Jr. was found dead. The woman in the passenger seat was taken to the hospital, but as we now know, died from her injuries. Neighbors say their shared home this week flooded with investigators. The entire street was lined. Cops everywhere um, they were towing a car it was it was it was scary it was very scary this morning we're learning more about the suspect CBS 2 obtains an internal police memo which describes Huey Jr's behavior as erratic during this investigation and as someone with extensive firearms training we also learned he owned a security business here in Streamwood that was involuntarily dissolved earlier this month and new this morning, we're hearing from the family of one of the victims, Zoraida Bartolome. On social media, her sister posting in part, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude for the outpouring of solidarity and support following the tragic loss of Zoraida Bartolome, her husband, Alberto Rolone, and their sons, Adriel and Diego. Now, police say there are no other suspects related to this case, but again, police are now saying this was not a random act. For now, we're live in Streamwood. I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you for that. So many layers to this story and questions that we know you're helping us get to the bottom of.